Alex Dees, independent fighter coming out of Cleveland, Tennessee, says that his current, current gym is Pride Wrestling. Looks like he's got a couple guys from Black Eye cornering him. This is the second time we're getting a look at Alex Babyface Dees. He came up on the short end of about a couple months ago in Knoxville. Uh, that being said, at the time he was dealing with just a lot of personal issues as far as his vehicle breaking down on him and getting to the event and being ready to get in the frame of mind to fight. Sadly, I, I actually caught up with him at the face-off yesterday. He is dedicating this fight to his late grandmother who just passed away this Tuesday. So Alex D's fighting with a heavy heart and dedicating this fight to his grandmother. He told me she would have wanted him to compete in this event no matter what. This is his passion and she believed in him and he believes in himself. He's fired up and we are gonna find out Alex D's opponent right now. He's looking for his first victory. Here comes his opponent. And now, help me welcome to the cage, Mario Umana. Whoa, lots of Mario Umana fans in the house. They made the trip from Kennesaw. That is a, a very supportive group there in the stands. Definitely going to be Absolutely. cheering Mr. Umana on as he tries to make a good Aries Fight Series debut. These are MMA contests, three three-minute rounds. You see Mario Umana, the older man. Yeah, Only by four years. Not an old man, but the older man. Yeah, Mario brought his audience here from Kennesaw. And one thing the tail of the tape here, the Warrior Home Improvement tail of the tape is showing us. Massive height uh, advantage here, five inches for Alex Dees. Yep. It's only a one inch reach advantage for Alex as well. Alex Dees is a Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling state champion. Mario Umana. Hearing it from his supporters, he is the shorter man, but he is ready to put his stamp on his Aries Fight Series debut. This walkout music's got me going. I'm, yeah, I'm fired up. This is the main card. This is the main card, and I think it's going to be another level. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of the evening is a catchweight bout at 140 pounds, and it's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Where is the Georgiana family at? This bout has no sponsor because it is dedicated to the memory of fallen officer Mitchell Georgiana. Your first fighter fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. He weighed in at 141.6 pounds. He has a record of zero wins with one loss. He's representing Cleveland, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex D. And his opponent, fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. This crowd is he weighed in at 140.8 pounds. He is making his amateur mixed martial arts debut here tonight. He's representing Striker Fight Center out of Kennesaw, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mario O. first fight of our main card. Fans, if you're watching on CombatCast.tv, thank you. We wish you were here. Uh, this is the kind of fight that has the atmosphere that makes coming to a live event so fun. You got Absolutely. It. This crowd is going to be rocking for this one. You feel like both groups of fans are waiting to explode if their fighter can get an advantage here early. 
see a lot of circling in the middle of the ring here. These fighters trying to beat each other out a little bit here. See how Romano with a hard, low inside kick. I think Deez is feeling that first one and he gets another. Yep. Deez punching down here. He is the taller fighter. Nice double arm. A turning double arm judo throw. That was excellent. I know my judo experts are out there and they know the exact name of that throw and I'm not going to attempt it, but you see. Alex is kind of going for a pin here, but not really doing too, too much. Looks like he's trying for a neck crank. Yeah, almost like uh, shades of uh, Alexia Linick there, where he just kind of sneak up and gets the uh, choke, but he's raining down some. Yeah, these are really short shots that really aren't doing a whole lot to impact uh, Mario here. He's just really not getting the range on him that he wants to, and he's kind of stuck in an awkward position here. Yeah. As Mario attempts to take the back, at the same time, Dees was going for a knee bar there. Great top control from Dees, and he's really looking to put a stamp on this one here today. You're right, though. These shots are short. He needs to posture up a little bit if he wants more effective striking. He's hunting for a neck. Bad spot to catch it as we have Mario. Is this dangerous oh, from the bottom, yeah, Houston? Yeah, he really could. Um, he's got a head and an arm in there. That is an awkward <laughs> yeah, looking Yeah, that's choke. a really good spot. I yeah. mean, it, 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 if he can get the angle on it, it could be dangerous. Now he has him in a head and arm choke, and this is a little bit more dangerous. And Alex he's, needs to, he's, he's coming towards, and this could be a tap here. He's trying to do what he can to get out of it, and you saw that. I think he's avoiding the the maximum potential Mario's of this choke. smart choke. by holding on to that, and there's that's the tap it. there. And wow. the Mario audience going wild. <laughs> Mario Umana with an unorthodox head and arm choke from the bottom that he yep. eventually gained a uh, dominant position with. Just amazing. Really smart of him to hold on to that. Really, really smart of him to hold on to that. Stayed patient, stayed determined. Yep, we see a first round victory here on the first bout of the main card. Mario Umana taking home the victory. And I think that's an emotional victory. This is a, yep. a fallen officer being tributed here. No sponsor for this fight. First round sub, Jeff Hobbs gonna make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee stopped us out at two minutes and 10 seconds of the first round. Your winner by arm triangle, 